Everyone over the age of 16 is now eligible to get vaccinated. And of course, lots of viewers have questions, especially when it comes to the timing of the shots and how long the protection will last. Dr. Frank McGeorge joins us now live with some of the answers to your questions, all of them submitted through clickondetroit.com. Hey, Jason and Sandra. So yeah, a viewer asks, I'm scheduled to get my second shot Thursday, but due to work, I want to reschedule for the following Monday. The pharmacist says the CDC states you have to get it three weeks from the initial shot. Is that accurate? So the answer is for the Pfizer vaccine, it's ideal to get it 21 days from the first shot, but it's okay to get it four days early or four days after. In fact, the CDC considers it valid up to six weeks from your first shot. But of course, that's really kind of an outside limit. Here are some more of your questions. Several viewers want to know, what happens if you get COVID in between the first and second shot? Will you still be able to get the second shot or do you have to start all over again? There is no reason to restart your vaccine series even if you become infected between shots. As soon as you recover and are out of quarantine, just get the second shot when it's due or as soon as possible afterward. Kathy has a related question. My son, who's 33, had his first vaccination on March 16th. He tested positive for COVID on March 30th. Can he still get his second shot on April 16th? Yes, as long as he's fully recovered and out of the 14-day quarantine window. Another viewer asks, I had COVID in November and received both doses of the Pfizer vaccine in February and March. Is my immunity longer than others that have only had the vaccine? The answer is we don't know. My prediction is that having developed immunity from a natural infection followed by the immunity from the vaccine would be a more potent combination. But that's just an educated guess. There isn't any proven research behind that opinion. Carol wants to know, how long does the Johnson & Johnson vaccine protect you? We don't know exactly how long any of the vaccines will protect you. That is information we won't know until more time has passed. Recently, though, there has been data showing that the Pfizer vaccine was 91% effective after six months. Now, to make that point more clear, several viewers have taken the latest update to mean that the Pfizer vaccine only lasts six months. What we know is that it lasts at least six months and practically speaking, probably far longer. Again, though, we won't know how long any of the vaccines last until more time passes. And we can frankly see how long the first groups that receive the vaccine end up being protected. And that's an important distinction to make there, too. You know, Doc, we've heard uh, from health officials that some people just aren't going back for their second dose of either Pfizer or Moderna vaccines for various reasons. What kind of advice do you have on that? Well, you know, Sandra, the second dose is very important because not only does it boost the amount of protection, it's also believed to boost the length of protection. If you're getting a two-dose vaccine to get the full benefit, you really need that second shot. And frankly, I strongly encourage everyone not to cheat themselves out of that added protection. Back right. to you. All right. Good advice. Thank you so much, Doc.